Hi, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. And I, I'm Brad Heine, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, Brad, today we're going to go over, what is this called, scale called? The Biting Score or Scale. The Bite Me? <laughs> Bob, how's it spelled? Go ahead. Put it right there. B-E-I-G-H-T-O-N. It's uh, one for measuring flexibility. It was originally called the Rocket Bottles Hypermobility Screen. So it's for hypo or hyper, hyper hyper mobility. Right, and it's measuring that. Right. All right, I'm gonna step out because Nancy's coming in. We're gonna measure her. Yeah. Right. So hyper mobility means you're double jointed. A lot of people call it double jointed, and that just means you're more flexible than the average person. So we have Nancy, who is normally behind the scenes doing excellent video work for us, as you all know. She is going to uh, she volunteered, right, Nancy? Sort of. <laughs> okay. Now, you get a point for each one of these things if you pass, okay? And it's nine different uh, tests we're going to go through and add up, so it's nine points total. All right, so the first one is bring your finger out like that and extend and pull back the finger. There you go. As far as you feel comfortable. Okay, there we go. And if we get a 90-degree bend here, that's one point. Bob, is that one point? give her a point, Okay, yeah. you got one. The next one, do the other side. Always right and left. We're going to give her another, another point for there, for sure. Yeah, that's two points. Two yeah. points, okay. The next one is your elbow. You're going to go out with your elbow and keep it straight. Now, there's my elbow. And we look at, if you go farther than straight, so she's hyperextending more than 10 degrees. Oh, yeah, that's more than 10. And, yeah, we are a therapist, and we can measure without using the goniometer. We got another point here. Let's check this one. And the elbow, if you pull that up, you can see it actually is bending the yeah. opposite direction. So she's got four points so she's far. She's got four points so far. You're doing very good. Okay, the next thing is we go down to the, oh, the thumb. Yeah, <laughs> this is the, like, if you can go, this is as far as I can get my thumb on both sides. Okay, now let's see, see if Nancy qualifies. There she so can right touch. Down. Does that hurt? No. No pain. She gets another point. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she touches again. All right. The next one, we're going to move down to the knees. Now, let's look at this. I'm going to pull the... This works best if you're doing it officially. You would have shorts on. Uh, but <laughs> it's like 5 degrees out right now. It's, it's the winter of 2000. It's minus 5 degrees. 5, minus 5 it's all the same at this point. Extend that knee as far as you can. If it's a straight knee, which would be about here, that would be zero. We're hyperextending here. Would you say that's 10 degrees or more, Bob? Was that the one that, uh, the one was not as bad as the other well, one, Well, let's right? turn around and double check yeah. here. We're not going to get, there we go. Now, how does that look? That looks like 10. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we've definitely yeah. got. 10 there. Yeah. Can I see the other side let's again? the other side again. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's that's ten. Yeah. yeah, when you put it like that, then you can see the ten. Yeah. Now, to be technical, we would get a, a goniometer and measure, and measure this. Measure right. Uh, we're we're doing a pretty good job. You're going to get the right idea. So okay, and after the knee test, then we go to palming the floor. So with this one, you want to keep the knees straight or locked out and. Bend over and see if you can palm the floor. If you can palm the floor, and uh, not quite. She can put her fingertips, but not the palm. So you're going to lose a point there. So that gives you eight out of nine. All right. Which means, well, but she didn't have <laughs> positive. She's definitely hyper mobile. She is. And yeah. And again, that's not necessarily a good thing. Right. You probably don't want to be, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world, Nancy. You live without any particular symptoms and whatnot, right? Well, what are some of the things, Brad, that she may want to try to help strengthen her joints and right. if she wants to avoid positions that are going to put her in uh, hypermobility. Right. right, so you're not going to stand with your legs locked off for long periods of time, uh, leaning on your elbow. Elbow, like down this. straight. Right. Um, she wants to avoid those end range positions with right. her joints. End range meaning you're locking things out and yeah. putting weight on them. Or re repetitive motion as well that's going to, you know, like you're probably not going to enjoy throwing a hard ball a lot. Although I understand that hyperextension, you can get a heck of a curve. Yeah, that, a lot of the pictures actually have hyper hypermobility in their right. shoulders, and that's why they're at risk for injury too. Yeah, that's Did why they have. Show the shoulder. Oh, this yeah. is not on the test, but she go ahead. Show show what she can do. There's you know, and, and Nancy, I don't know if she wants to give her age, but she's definitely over 20 years old, and she can. Nancy, face the other way towards the wall. There you go. Look at Look that. Look at that. Wow. Uh, Here's mine. <laughs> and Brad, okay. oh, just one more time so we can laugh. 
All right, that's funny. Brad is hypo mobile. Uh, I would yeah, say it's a conversion. He would get zero points on that scale. So, all right.